वेलकम एवरीवन टू अवर न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ रोहन एंड सुल्तान टेक मंत्रा हे सुल्तान गुड मॉर्निंग रोहन हाउ आर यू फोक्स दिस एपिसोड विल बी फोकस्ड ऑन क्लाउड सिक्योरिटी एंड इट्स की कॉम्पोनेट्स दिस विल बी अ टू पार्ट एपिसोड टू मेक इट मोर कंज्यूमेबल एंड मीनिंगफुल टू अवर ऑडियंस सो एज वी हैड समराइज अर्लियर सैसी सिक्योर एक्सेस सर्विस एज इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एस डी वैन नेटवर्किंग एज अ सर्विस and cloud security that's where that security as a service comes to play absolutely rohan cloud security is very critical why just as we would expect to protect our data and our apps on premise we need to think about doing exactly that for our apps and services in the cloud and as part of that we want to make sure that all the users who are accessing and connecting to them are also secure so when we look at the cloud security and its several key components some of the components for cloud security is secure access secure web gateway caspi which is cloud access security broker dlp data loss prevention or data leak prevention sandboxing rbi remote browser remote browser isolation firewall as a service but today we'll discuss briefly what each of these key components what they do and why they are important to you as an enterprise customer Absolutely, Rohan. And uh, you know what comes to my mind as you shared all of these key components is it makes sense to start talking about possibly secure access, and and why, right? We've right. had the recent pandemic. A lot of people have been forced to work remotely, um, and as a result of that, they're working from everywhere. everywhere. They're not just on prem in their campus, on o- in, in their office locations. As a result of that, you could ask, hey, so we have VPNs, and we've been doing VPNs and and doing remote access for forever. but vpns were really designed purely for connectivity for the users who are coming back to their corporate data center now that we are in a world of cloud where your applications are not on prem only those vpns have limitations and they're just not optimal for that type of connectivity that we're looking for you are absolutely right secure access which is one of the key components for this uh, cloud security using the ztna the zero trust network access frameworks overcomes these limitations of vpn like you mentioned scale because these vpn concentrators are on the data center side and other bandwidth limitations and um, with ztna model the secure access really provides the key essential security needed for remote access to cloud or to resources which are uh, in the data center but the key here i want to bring out is this secure access provides from any device for any user from any location i think that's the key so whenever secure access comes to play what you need to remember is the ztna that the zero trust network access model and for any user any device from any location and that's a great point right because if you think about it when we had remote access using vpns we had a software running on our laptop again connecting back to that corporate data center what you're now implying is that because people are working from multiple devices they are connecting using those devices they're working remotely they need a similar endpoint security framework like ztna so great point about secure access and ztna rohan and this really leads to the next piece which is really okay so i have my endpoint devices my laptop my ipad etc cetera, etc cetera, all secure now i'm connecting into those cloud locations i need some kind of way of, of ensuring that the traffic going in and out of the cloud is secure and this is really where the other component comes into play what we call secure web gateway which essentially prevents users from accessing malicious website traffic on the internet or in the cloud that could not only infect the devices that they're using but also compromise the internal network's organization so it's very important to ensure that users who are accessing the internet or the cloud are in compliance with your organization's regulation policies i think that's that's a great point compliance with the organization regulation policies so we have talked about the secure access secure connectivity and secure web gateway which is all about in and out of traffic uh, which is destined for the cloud both of which ensures secure connectivity from anywhere from any device to any cloud exactly. so sultan uh, my next point here is how can an enterprise enforce user behavior for example what website can user access 
that that's a great point. So you know, uh, we, we're looking at traffic going in and out of the the cloud using the secure web gateway. But you're going to, I think, the, the next piece, which I would consider another layer down, and and this is really where we talk about something called URL filtering. Why do we call it URL filtering? Because we're accessing the World Wide Web. We're going to different websites which are identified by URL addresses. And by limiting access as a result of comparing web traffic against a URL filtering database, okay. enterprises can now prevent employees from accessing harmful sites, such as phishing pages, right? These are the pages that are created to mislead people and then cause a penetration point. Now, Enterprises can block or allow traffic based on specific URL categories. Again, going back to that URL database. By filtering traffic based on URL profiles with unique policies, enterprises can now match traffic based on specific URL categories and control that user behavior. So what you are saying is then we are giving control to the customers to define the policy in terms of users and what website they can exactly. have access to. So for example, not allowing social media or a gaming site access during business hours. Exactly. I mean, it's not always just a bad website, but it also gives the enterprise the control, again, at the tip of their fingers to define policies. Again, a big plus of, of cloud security and really control that user behavior that you talk about. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think the point to make is very powerful, different, unique elements that we've highlighted today. Z secure access, ZTNA, secure web gateway, URL filtering. But I think you would agree with me, and I hope the audience does too, that all these elements, while they bring a value proposition, we want them to work together to get the biggest impact from a security standpoint. I think that's a great value add. This is where, you know, if they are working together as a single security stack, uh, that's where the greater impact would be, would be. Folks, this is where we are going to stop and we are going to pick up in episode which is part two of cloud security and its key components. Thank you for your time and talk to you soon.